great teacher? Imagine that this is your classroom. You're confident that your famous solar system model project is an exciting activity. Who doesn't love mathematical models in outer space? But some students just aren't motivated this year. For example, Parker doesn't seem motivated to complete her model at all. Motivation is so unique to every learner. You know that Parker is passionate about art, coding, and is an avid reader. She just isn't motivated by this task. What can you do to help her? Motivation is generally understood as intrinsic or extrinsic. Intrinsic motivation is what teachers love to see in action. It comes from deep feelings of interest in an activity. When we're completely absorbed in a challenging but accomplishable task that we've chosen to do, psychologists call that state flow. Nice, Parker, look at you go. On the other hand, extrinsic motivation comes from an externally imposed need. These are the tasks that we do not because we're deeply interested in them, but simply because we have to. As an educator, you might feel pressure to inspire intrinsic motivation in every student all the time. But while it's important to foster that spark in students when you see it, it's just as important to help them learn to accomplish a task when the primary motivation is extrinsic. According to research in psychology and cognitive science, self-determination theory can help Parker find the motivation she needs to complete and learn from her solar system model. Self-determination theory states that when three important needs are met, students are better positioned to complete extrinsically motivated tasks. The first need is autonomy or choice. Give Parker options for how to explore key concepts and demonstrate her knowledge. The second is competence. Give Parker the tools to exercise a growth mindset as she takes on the task and help her understand why the skills she's building are so important. The third is relatedness or a sense of belonging. Give Parker plenty of opportunities to collaborate and share ideas with her peers or even bring her work into a real world context. When these needs are met, Parker will feel ownership of her learning, or agency. Even if she doesn't become the next woman on the moon, the content, knowledge, and skills you've fostered are sure to carry her on the path to achieving her dreams.